Welcome back. It is day two of River Out of Eden Revisited. Um, I went in and checked a couple of the synthesizer tracks that uh, I previously recorded uh, back in 2003. And I actually really like what the uh, intro does. It's from the Darkstar uh, XB2 or something, really nice tabletop synthesizer. And it um, sounds like this. round pad um, and I'm just gonna keep that so for the intro I added if you can see this no actually you can't see this um, right there lots of little dotties um, I added a uh, very uh, subtle hi-hat uh, with a little bit of delay and reverb on it which will together sound like so Gonna bring in a bass drum, also very subtle. So I gotta find out actually what I did in the in the synthesizer, and make sure that I play a guitar part and a nice little melody that complements that. So it's kind of weaving in and out, huh? I'm weaving. Get it? Weaving in and out of what I originally did, supporting that with new ideas, then also creating completely new ideas and trying to match the old stuff to it or completely uh, trashing it and only keeping what James did. So, uh, there's no need to start all the way fresh. Um, like in the uh, verse actually, I found this synthesizer. And I actually think I programmed that sound myself, I'm proud of that. a very nice ambient pad which funny enough works perfectly with what we have there now how funny is that it was completely different chords so I turn it on I check out well does it still work and it does and even without any electric elect and even without any electric guitars or anything else, uh, it's just a beautiful pad and the atmosphere is almost there. I don't really need much more. I'm gonna see if I can add something else. But um, so uh, this is very nice and surprising when you just turn on an old track and say, hey, that still works, awesome. Didn't do this, well I kinda did, but not with that goal in mind. So it's, it's very cool. So to get into the solo, we had like a little bass idea thing that Nick Guadagnoli did and it was um, very highly processed. Uh, I would like to revisit the intro. So after the uh, um, second chorus, instrumental, uh, postlude or whatever you call it, uh, we're gonna go straight into the intro again. Because, you know, why not? So this is how far I am. I'm gonna have to create something for the solo now and kind of get into the last chorus and then I'm gonna uh, attack the electric guitars and that's the part I'm really looking forward to just playing with really cool nice guitars nice tone um, you can't see it right the right wait right there above my finger is uh, the new PRS SE 20 amp which gives me a nice fender sparkly clean sound um, which I've kind of been missing and I'm really looking forward to using that. So, be right back. Hi. So, um, I'm pretty much done. I did some bass and uh, got the, the, the rough outline, everything there. And now we're gonna do some ear candy guitar stuff. So, um, for the intro, we got a D, a G, D, B minor, G, very simple things. But what I'm gonna do is D with an 11 in it, D add 11. The Cetriani. That thing. Then I'm just gonna go change the root so that we have a G 
major 7 and back and for the B minor same thing which gives us B minor 11 can't be B minor 6 nice so um, then we have an E we're gonna do E minor 9 which then goes to D, also with a 9, and then back to the G. So um, that should make for a very nice atmosphere to put a nice melody on top. I'm gonna try this, and I'm going to fail, and you're going to witness it. As I was saying, it starts with a D, no? Okay, ah, oh, what I forgot is, uh, I'm using the, um, I'm gonna put this somewhere on top here, or bottom. I'm gonna use, I'm using the, uh, uh, PRS SE20 amp on the clean channel, um, and actually with, uh, right here, the Jetta Vibe. So I have a nice, subtle Univibe sound. Um, I have the gold already lined up, the gold standard, so I can do some, uh, slightly distorted stuff. But my basic sound is... Yeah, sorry, I'm back. So, I was saying the uh, PRS SE20 on the clean channel, which gives us a very nice Fenderish clean sound. It's just through the camera mic now, uh, I'm sorry. But uh, I hope you get the idea. You're gonna hear it in the track actually well recorded. So we're gonna add the Jetta vibe for a nice... Kind of a little bit of atmosphere. So, I will try this again, hopefully successfully. Really not. Gonna do this again. to the verse and see what I can come up with there. So, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna bring back the intro theme from the original, which is kinda nice. It was tapped on a war guitar. I'm gonna do something different. I got the Jetta Gold Standard here on the helium side, which is just the tiniest bit of a little bit of dirt. Instead of... Just a little bit of, a, of grit. Also going through the SE20. Um, Kind of that theme, which was tapped. I don't know how that was. Yeah, probably like this. theme. I'm gonna go an octave lower and keep it as a as an accompaniment. So very subtle. Oh kind of like that. So we're gonna see if I can pull that off.
animation is there. So, um, we brought back the theme from the original, but more subtle and warmer. Most certainly warmer. I want tone on this, this version of those songs. Stuff like this. I want grit. I want, I want more humanity in it. That's all I can say. So on to the verse where um, I'm now trying the rhythm guitar and uh, I will use the intro theme uh, just a simpler and there we go thematic repetition let's try it part but it's got to be played right don't know if I just did that but um hopefully on the final version okay I'm now on to the uh, rhythm guitar and the chorus and uh, I decided to stay on the clean channel but use the uh, gold standard right here oops don't do this on the helium side which means we uh, we get a little bit of a crunch very nice and defined I'm uh, on the front pickup of the modern Eagle 2 um, let me turn on the light here. So, oh! Front pickup of the Modern Eagle 2 right here. 5708, but in single coil. Which by itself is... But with the gold standard we got... A little bit of grit. It's a very simple chord progression. It's a... 1-5-6-4. A, a but we're gonna do nice... Just two... Sus two, then we're gonna do E with a eleven in it. Open G, so very nice chords. Pretty much only one track, I think. No doubling. I want authentic guitars, not this huge. You can't really hear anything individual anymore. Sound. Let's see if I can pull this off. So next guitar part on top of the rhythm guitar, which by the way I did double because I wanted the widths, can say that, the wideness, the widedity. So um, I'm going to follow the chords now with an ostinato, uh, all 16th notes and it's a 3-3, 3-3-3-3-4. Three, 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 so it's... That's over the D, which makes it major 7, and over the A, we're going to do the same thing, which makes it sus4. Then we've got the B minor, and the G, then again the D, 
die E minor and then we've got the C and the A. So we're gonna put that all in succession. Uh I'll I'll at least try. Um Okay, we're gonna see. Again, that was the uh, Jetta Gold Standard on the helium side with a little bit more grit. Um, makes for a very nice, chunky, punchy sound. Uh, love it. Thanks, Brad. Uh, killer pedals. I can't wait to test the Dharma and uh, get more of your stuff on my hands. So, moving on. So, we've recorded loads more guitars. I put the... Um, that uh, uh, chorus ostinato that I did also in the last uh, chorus, but an octavier. And so on. Um, I added a, uh, only in the last chorus, a uh, power chord guitar, but very subtle, kind of going like. And now we're gonna do a kind of a string guitar part, meaning I'm gonna play a lead line. It's not a solo. It's gonna be very high uh, chord tones with a lot of delay on it to make it a really bright pad. This just over the whole mix. For that, we're gonna take the gold standard right here, and um, I'm gonna pretty much just stack it, putting both channels on at the same time, which will give you well, some noise and a beautiful lead sound. track to see what I'm doing and off we go Pretty much it, pretty much all I need. Awesome. Turn this off. Put the guitar away. Only thing that's missing is uh, some ear candy. I mean, the solo and some uh, guitar fills in between, kind of little melodies. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Okay, we got the uh, intro solo now, or little melody. Um, really not easy because the chords are not on my side. Uh, but that's what was left over from that uh, synthesizer part that I wanted to keep. So I'm going to work with it. I'll try. Um, 
I got the Jedi Gold Standard on the helium side again for just the tiniest bit of. Um, front pickup, single core. Let's see if it works. First take, after practicing it for 10 minutes, but um, and it even recorded, yay! Okay, moving on. And uh, the next part, which is before the solo. Okay, so I just uh, figured out a solo, which is kind of neat. Standard stuff, but uh, sounds nice. Again, with the Jedi Gold standard uh, stacked, but I, I don't know if I can pull it off. And it's freaking hot in here with a big ass light on me. Um, trust me, if it's like 35 degrees outside and the light is pushing you with 600 watts, you are sweating like a pig. So, we will try this, meaning me, because you're just freaky lazy people sitting there watching me. Crap, I'm sweating like a pig and I'm working like crazy on this uh, little interlude part. In theory, I've got it. Now comes the tricky part. Something like that. I'll try it. So, song is done so far. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, Congo, no. Come in. Congo, come. No, 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 no. Come ba back inside. Back inside. Good girl. Come. No. Say hello to YouTube. Sit. Congo, stay. So, song is done. What's left is I uh, did some mixing. 
rough mix, which I will let you hear, uh, but that's a separate video. So um, I'm gonna go take a shower because it's freaking hot. So I hope you enjoyed this um, and got some insight into whatever you wanna get inside into. Okay, bye bye. He's leaving. Close to time without